Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to pull stock data and to create this candlestick chart in Python by using the library Plotly and the pandas data reader. At the bottom we also have a range slider to select specific dates. Alright, without further ado let us get started. I assume that you have already Python installed on your machine. If not, there are already great tutorials out there to show you how to install Python on your operating system. First, we need to install the required libraries for this project. On Windows, press the Windows button and R and type CMD and press Enter. This should open up the command prompt. To install the libraries, simply use pip install and then the name of the package. By the way, I will also upload the project files and you can find the download link in the description box down below. Next, I will create a new Python file. I will call mine candlestick.py. In there I will import the libraries we just have installed. So import pandas underscore data reader as web from daytime import daytime import pandas as pd import plotly graph objects as go and import plotly. With the help of the pandas data reader we can now retrieve stock data. By the way I also have a separate video on how to retrieve stock data with python which I will link in the info card above. Now let us specify the start and the end date for the period for which we want to get the stock information. So start is equal to daytime and in here the year, month and day. Make sure that you do not add any leading zeros otherwise you will get an error. So for example January 1st would be 2020,1,1. For the end date I will choose 31st of July 2020. Next we will specify the stock we want to retrieve by providing the ticker symbol. In this example I will use the Tesla stock and the ticker symbol is TSLA. To retrieve the stock data in a data frame we can type web.datareader then the stock and for the API I will use Yahoo and then our start and end date. So let me see if this is working so far by printing out the data frame. Down here we have now our first five rows of our data frame. You will notice that the date is currently used as an index. However, in order to create the candlestick I would like to transform the index into a column. This is quite easy in pandas, we can just simply reset the index of this data frame. If I now print out the data frame again, we can see that our dates are now displayed as a column. Alright, now we are good to go to create the candlestick with the help of the Plotly library. So figure is equal to go.figure and the data for our figure will be the candlestick. And in this candlestick we will now specify the values. The brackets here might seem a little bit confusing at the first glance, so please pay attention to the different closing and opening brackets. Ok, as I said we will now specify the values for the candlestick chart. So x is equal to our data frame and the name was date. Open is equal to our data frame and the open column. By the way those are the column header names of our data frame we have retrieved. Next, high is equal to our data frame high, low is equal to our data frame low, and for the closing price, I will use the adjusted closing price. Alright, almost done. What I usually like to do instead of just plotting the candlestick is exporting the chart to HTML. We can do this by typing plotly.offline.plot, and in here our figure. And for the file name, I will call mine candlestick.html. Ok, if I save and run the script, we should now have our candlestick. In addition, as I said, we also have this range slider to select specific date ranges. 
And if we have a look in our folder, we also see now that Plotly has created the respective HTML file. Alright, I hope you found this tutorial useful. Stay tuned and see you next time.